The terrifying truth about gorillas. Gorillas are among nature's most remarkable and majestic animals, and they have sparked massive levels of intrigue in science, pop culture, and the world at large. From being attractions in zoos all over the world, to being the subject of Diane Fossey's unprecedented research, and starring in the thrilling King Kong films, there's a lot of gorilla action to go around. And speaking of action, we've come to the subject of today's video. Yes, gorillas are a very close relative to human beings, but they are still wild animals. As such, do they have a dark side? Some fearsome tendencies that cannot be contained? Are they really prone to going full King Kong and wrecking all before them? Well, let's find out. The term gorilla actually refers to one or both of two major species in the gorilla genus, which, like humans, is part of the hominidae or hominid family. Gorilla is a derivative of the ancient Greek word gorillae, which literally translates to tribe of hairy women. This is because they were first discovered and documented by Hanno, an explorer from the Empire of Carthage. Journals of Hanno's 5th century BC voyages to West Africa detail a tribe of hairy individuals, most of whom were women. The modern scientist who discovered them, Thomas Stoughton Savage, classified the animals using an ancient Greek term fitting Hanno's description. They were initially grouped under the chimpanzee species troglodytes, but further study revealed that gorillas warranted their own genus. The two existing species are the Gorilla Gorilla, more commonly known as the Western Gorilla, and Gorilla Barangay, aka Eastern Gorilla. Eastern Gorillas are further split into Mountain Gorillas, Gorilla Barangay Bengay, and Lowland Gorillas, Gorilla Barangay Grauri. Western Gorillas also have two subspecies, the Western Lowland Gorilla, Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla, and the Cross River Gorilla, Gorilla Gorilla Daylight. Both gorilla species rank as the largest animals in the primate order, an order which is also home to a particular Homo sapien. Eastern gorillas are the larger of the two species, with eastern lowlands being the largest subspecies. Males can reach sizes of 450 pounds, with heights of up to 5 foot 6. Females weigh in at 200 to 225 pounds and have maximum heights of about 4 foot 9. Among western gorillas, the males reach an average of 370 to 380 pounds and heights of around 5 foot 7. The girls are also much smaller, with an average weight range of 130 to 160 pounds. The largest ever gorillas on record were two eastern silverbacks. One killed in the Democratic Republic of Congo was over 6 foot 9 tall and is the tallest ever seen. The other, which was gunned down in Cameroon, is the heaviest ever with a colossal 589 pound mass. All gorilla species and subspecies are native to tropical and subtropical regions of Africa. Eastern mountain gorillas are found in the mountainous regions of the DRC and Rwanda, while eastern lowland gorillas live in the rainforests and marshes of the eastern Congo. Western lowland gorillas live in similar environments to their eastern cousins, though they are found in central regions of the Congo, the Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, and Cameroon. Gorillas have lifespans of 35 to 40 years in the wild, but have been recorded to pass 50 years in captivity. Fatau, a female residing at the Berlin Zoo, is 67 years old. She has had one child, two grandchildren, 13 great-grandchildren, 20 great-great-grandchildren, and three great-great-great-grandchildren, and counting. Like the ancient explorer Hanno described, gorillas live in troops made up of several females, their young and one dominant male known as a silverback. Younger males may be present in a troop, but these are often offspring of the dominant male who are yet to be kicked out. Subordinate adult males are tolerated in extremely rare cases. Most females in a troop are born and raised in that particular troop, so they are usually closely related mothers, daughters, aunts, and even grandmothers. However, males almost never grow to become the alpha male of their birth troop because they are chased away by their fathers or new silverbacks that take over the troop. Gorillas are generally very peaceful, social, and intelligent creatures that love going about their simple business undisturbed. Most of a gorilla's life is spent eating, grooming, building nests, and sleeping. Playing is also a major part of troop bonding. 
Diet varies across the subspecies, but they are mainly herbivorous. Mountain gorillas eat shoots, leaves, pith, flowers, fruit, and even bark. Lowland gorillas eat higher proportions of fruit, but will also eat leaves and flowers, as well as insects like ants. Do gorillas have a dark side? Despite their pop culture depictions as brutal, savage creatures, gorillas are fairly docile creatures in reality. With very few natural predators, bar the odd leopard, they live life very relaxed 90% of the time. Their herbivorous nature also lends itself to peace, as they never have to fight over kills with other meat eaters. They also get along swimmingly with other super-intelligent wild primates like chimpanzees and bonobos, often sharing feeding grounds and nesting in proximity to each other. If anything, gorillas have sometimes found themselves suffering infanticide at the hands of meat-hungry chimps. There is one creature that has proven to be the bane of gorilla kind, and that animal is human beings. Poaching and sport hunting have wreaked havoc on populations. The eastern gorilla, famed for its majestic size and coat, has suffered the most and is now critically endangered. That said, despite all of the feel-good vibes and peaceful slumber, these are still wild animals with very wild tendencies. Gorilla politics, in particular, is fairly rough and sometimes brutal. The fight for troop dominance is one such case. For males, the position of silverback is one that comes with control of the best feeding grounds and the most females. The term silverback is in reference to the grayish silver hair that grows on the backs of males from the age of 12. Males younger than this are called blackbacks and will seldom challenge for the leadership role. Silverback gorillas will posture, threaten, and fight, sometimes to the death to challenge for or defend this throne. Armed with brute strength, Mean gazes, opposable thumbs, and two-inch canine teeth, adult male gorillas are as fierce as any animal in Africa when the need arises. For an incumbent king, defending his position helps ensure the survival of his young. For the challenger, victory means the opportunity to father babies of his own, as well as feast and fiesta in the best territories. A silverback fight will typically resemble a typical human boxing match, at least in the beginning. The two fighters will engage in a mean stare-down, sprinkled with a bit of trash growls and verbal warnings. If no one backs down, you may witness the gorilla's signature chest thumps and even a mock charge. If these warnings are not heeded, a real fight ensues. The two silverbacks will hurl themselves at each other with full force and start scrapping viciously. Hands, feet, teeth, it's all fair game. Eventually, one of the two fighters gets overwhelmed and submits to the victor. The loser is then chased away with his non-existent tail between his legs. Younger males will run in the hope of fighting another day, but old males will retreat knowing they will likely live the rest of their lives alone in the cold. If a challenger wins, he will look to establish his dominance over the troop by killing the old king's infants and chasing away resident blackbacks. The baby killing is used to get females into estrus much sooner than they would be. Infanticide also wipes out the genes of males who couldn't defend their position and their troop. Outside of the males, the females can also be vicious, especially to each other. Females have their own hierarchy, especially if unrelated, and will jostle for proximity to the silverback by cutting in on grooming sessions and even brawling. Gorillas are also hostile to predators. A silverback will not hesitate to fight off and kill a leopard or a snake that threatens his family, even to the death. A silverback gorilla was even documented tracking and attacking poachers who were nabbing his troop members in the Congo. However, gorillas are seldom a danger to humans, and most wild troops have had some exposure to humans in some fashion. To date, there are less than five documented gorilla attacks on people, and none of them led to human fatalities. Additionally, it is likely those attacks were provoked. However, these stats are often reported by countries with a vested interest in promoting guerrilla tourism, so you can't be 100% certain. Of course, given the power and tools at their disposal, guerrillas could easily kill a man they deem to be a threat. Luckily, a guerrilla will likely give you a chance to escape or beg for mercy. Like with a rival, a silverback will test your metal with a stare down, chest thump, and mock charge. Your best bet is to avoid direct eye contact, curl up into a ball on the ground, and hope. 
They will usually leave you alone if they don't view you as a threat. Unfortunately, like people, some gorillas can hold grudges. If you were unlucky to cross paths with gorillas that have had bad encounters with humans before, you may become an undocumented statistic in a country that depends on gorilla tourism.